Welcome back to the Mountains of Madness, where every ambition is fruitless and every effort is futile. We return to our wonderful collection of great happy people. Nothing ever goes wrong here. I have decided to create a landing spot for possible vessels that want to take our people away, such as the quest that we got over here, the, is it this one? Yeah, the one that requires eight colonies. I want to do it because, you know, it's a high risk, low reward kind of mission. <laughs> and it's, uh, I don't know, like exploring giant complexes like that. It left me so salty the last time that I had to just leave. I would like to redeem myself and really go prepared for a massive expedition. The problem with those kind of, these kind of missions though, you can't really carry any extra. You're just taking psychic addiction. Of all the addictions that can happen, that one is about the most harmless. So sure, get high on psychic as much as you like. Mm, the most harm, uh, the, what was I saying? Th this kind of mission, as, at least as far as I understand, I don't think you can load any extra in the shuttle. It's just the eight people and whatever they have equipped. It's not like a caravan when you can carry, you know, a few extra weapons like the frag grenades or we can carry the EMP grenades. If you have somebody that goes in there with the EMP grenades, they're not going to be able to carry anything else. So I, I, as far as I have seen, I have not actually tried to right click on the shuttle and say, hey, load this, load that. I don't know if it's possible, but I don't think it is either way. We need to wait a little bit longer to be able to do that. Oh, oops, it turns out that <laughs> harvesting the lung of Eulogia, it was a <laughs> hostile action against the Empire. Oops, that's just too bad. Um, going to have to wait a little bit longer to do that because people are still recovering from both rot stink exposure, not, but that's not a big deal. The big deal is the freaking plague. Everybody's still reeling from it. That shit needs to go away. Also need to make sure everybody's like at their full capacity, fully rested, able to do whatever they they are needed to do without being uh, fall, having to fall asleep and all that stuff. Like fully prepared. Disruptor flare pack. Huh? Uh, I was told you need to look at what disruptor flare actually does because. I don't think you get them. I don't think you understand what the disruptor flares do. How do I even check that though? I think maybe over here and then I click on hey, Electro Harvester has been researched. Let me click on that information. Let me read it real careful, okay? A utility pack that shoots disruptor flares. On impact, the flare burns a capsule of bioferrite, which creates a bright flash and a local psychic disruption. This stuns psychically sensitive creatures, revealing those that are invisible, and reducing their consciousness and movement speed for a short while. Afterwards, the flare continues to burn, lighting up a wide area for some time. So it, it's, it stuns the stupid ass, evil garbage, uh, whatever their name was. What are the name of the, these creatures I've been, I've been playing so long? I don't remember the name of the Revenants. The Revenants. Um. But it also affects your own colonies, it looks like. If somebody is psychically sensitive, maybe a ragman will uh, just drop like a vegetable onto the floor. I was looking through all the little, uh, all the technologies, and I'm like, honestly, I'm not excited by any of them. <laughs> it's like uh, none of the ones here are all that fun because it's like, they have an upside, but with a, a fat downside. It's like, my colony functions just fine. I don't need to use this trash. <laughs> it's like, I don't need this downside. I don't need people finding each other because, oh, my pawns became slightly more efficient. They don't need to sleep so long. It feels kind of underpowered, all the things that I've seen so far. I really do like the fire throwers and the, the Hellcat rifle those are pretty damn great anyway let's time pass some time for maybe get one or two days in make sure that everybody recovers everybody's in high spirits we're gonna wait until it's the 
the late morning. People recover from the plague pretty quickly. Rot stink. Let's keep track. There you go. Minor uh, develop immunity, but it still needs to go. Still needs to go away. They are still miserable from it. She's almost there, though. See, affected by minor plague, but it's getting there. Another thing that I've been noticing is like, holy crap, there's a lot of brain damage <laughs> in this, this troop of people. It is upsetting as hell. Uh, it makes several of these people fairly useless in a fight. For example, Cracklack Bagby. He has this mangled brain scar and it makes it so that he is just absolute trash. <laughs> absolute trash at uh, pretty much any task. So you don't want to send him to do anything. Uh, so probably will that's the the next goal. Like after after the high mech deck and after the fertility procedures, which I need to get everybody pregnant as soon as possible, we'll go for bio regeneration, get ourselves get ourselves the ability to heal people and heal all those awful, awful wounds. I've been thinking about the entire fertility procedures thing and, and getting babies out of all the females. And even with how depraved and awful all the things that happen in RimWorld, the idea of having Blargo forcefully impregnate all the females in the colony, that gives me pause. Even with all the atrocities I'm willing to do in RimWorld, that one is like... I don't, I don't like it. <laughs> it doesn't make me feel good. <laughs> you know? So I think what we'll do is we'll just create couples. Gore Hulk Assault. Well, that is upsetting. We'll create couples. We'll get... I mean, it's still forceful procreation. But <laughs> we won't have Blargo in front of everybody. We'll create Blargo and T-Rows. He's been trying so hard. He's going to get it. <laughs> we get Hike with somebody. Hopefully not her brother. Uh, Meg will also get like, and I don't like bringing up kids in the vats. I just uh, like more the natural process of having the pawns get pregnant and they have all the complications with it. Uh, but if there's uh, problems with it, I will use the damn vats from babies and then they can get raised as babies. I don't want to grow vat soldiers. That's just, uh, I don't know. It's just not, not as fun as just having babies in the colony and, Having that complication. Anyway, this can be awful. Depending on how many we get. Bruh. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> well, this is what we... This is what we keep. This is what we keep this little fella for. This right here. Can I click it? Can I click? Can I click? Let me click it. There you go. Doomsday rocket launcher. Wonder how many it will kill. The thing is, you do need some kind of way to stop them. We also have the mortars. And I do have an anti-grain shell. Don't I? Or I may have sold them. I think I sold them. So we just have regular ass mortars. And it's just two of them. These two mortars, sure, they are good. But they're only going to kill like two or three in the troop of 88 Gorhulks. <laughs> That's uh, silly. That's just silly. They are ranged enemies. But uh, they're really stupid. So I think we should be able to just hold on. Hold the, the choke point right here. I think that is doable. Because of their utter stupidity. And something I would like to do. I really should have two entrances into the base because it would be nice to have somebody that goes around and after the fighting is going on, he goes over and throws the Doomsray rocket at their heads. <laughs> that would be pretty neat. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to prepare the defense right here. But before that, somebody... Well, first thing that needs to happen is everybody that's outside basically... Sign? No, it's uh, it's not a sign. Where where were the zones for people? There they are. Uh, is mech safety still good? Yeah, everybody assigned to mech safety. 
Make sure nobody goes out there. There you go. Uh, also the animals, everybody. Wonder if the elephants get attacked. Either way, let's just have them all in mech safety, just in case. Mm, even the squirrel. Everybody, mech safety. There you go. This elephant should be trained. We got two more calves that would need to be renamed. That's another thing that I need to do before I forget. Before I forget, let me go to assign and make sure everybody carries medicine. That's something that I thought about the other day. It's like, why only the doctors? Everybody should be carrying a pile of medicine for when there's expeditions and stuff, or maybe I need more than three medicine, they can just use the ones that the pawn himself is carrying. It's just so silly not to have everybody carrying medicine. There you go. So, everybody's going inside. All the animals are going inside. What we want is to get a good shielded shooter. Maybe we'll have Effin Damas. Effin Damas. How are you at shooting? You're pretty good. Manipulation only 96 because of the stupid ass plague. How about Tiros? Tiros, you're well. Manipulation is excellent. We're going to give you. Oh man, she does wield a freaking excellent shotgun. Banana is just not doing great. Manipulation 46%. That is uh, upsetting. Let's just give it to Effin Damas. Equip the Doomsday rocket launcher. Off you go. Oh man, there was a. Uh, are these these elephants hurt? It's just long rot. Nothing happening there. All right, Effin Damas, do it. And now we're going to send you out there. Everybody is going inside. All right, good, good. The thing about shooting this thing. It is quite the challenge to time it, but hopefully we can get a good shot. They're pretty fast, these damn creatures, so we really should be all lined up. Everybody, line up right here. We're going to give you proper weaponry. There you go. This should not... I guess we should hold it open so that they are all... Uh, uh, Drag, not dragged. What's the word? Lured, lured into here. Uh, also, before I forget, power. Get me a hidden conduit all the way to that beacon. There you are. Um, doesn't need to go that far, but it doesn't matter. So, for these monsters, probably we want. Uh, no, actually, when when you are holding a choke point, a minigun is actually bad. Grenades will inevitably jump into your ranks. So just a collection of rifles is, is really what you want. Maybe the, the uh, super shotguns. I don't think we need to change anything right now. Maybe uh, get rid of... Is there any lance? Yeah, Born to Crawl. How about instead of that, you equip yourself with this excellent assault rifle? there and then you can go over here and how about this chain shotgun who else has something that I don't really care about like for example crack like back bay having what is your shooting your shooting is pretty ass all of your shooting is just absolute trash huh is there a reason for ragman not to wield a, a weapon I guess not oh he does an orbit on we're bombardment targeted. Ragman, go out there. Go out there, buddy. Uh, join. Join your friend, Evan Damas. Let's see. The delay on this thing is super big. Let's shoot right here and check out how long it takes. We can calculate. Okay. Not yet. Not yet. A little bit longer. Oh, are they stopping? I think this shot will be good. Oh, Ragman is going to take too long. Okay. I think that shot will be good. Stop. <sighs> too early. It's too early. 
Let's do it like this. This should land like right in the middle, a little bit further down. I'm going to destroy my own thing, but it doesn't matter. A shot right here. I really don't want him to miss. Yeah, that, that should be good. That should be an excellently timed shot. Oof, uh, it's, a little, it's a little rough. And you can also do the Warrior of Bombardment, huh? Just do it. Do it. Uh, we're going to do it. <laughs> we're going to <laughs> bombard the crap out of these guys. I am very intimidated. Doesn't take us long. How about over here? That should be a pretty good bombardment. I am intimidated by the amount, the sheer amount of the people here. All right, Evan Damas, time to go back. Ragman. Ah, it wasn't a very good shot. It was decent. Not a very good one, though. Killed a lot. We got killed eight. 10% casualties for a 50% uh, Doomsday Rocket. Could have been a, a much better shot, honestly. All right, so now let's get ourselves a line of defense here. Make sure... Uh, make sure everybody is ready to go. The thing is, these are ranged monsters. So what we probably want to do is defend from here, not getting here. Because that makes them shoot through several choke points, right? I think that's, that makes a lot of sense. So let's move everybody right there. Crack like back with I want you to grab something. Instead of using this. How about you wield the chain shotgun? And then come over here. Your, your fire gun is going to be trash. The orbital bombardment is taking place. Holy crap, that is uh, more deadly than I anticipated. <laughs> I expected mortal sh mortar shells, not an absolute destruction of everything. <laughs> well, uh, abort, abort the defense. Our defense has been properly executed. Well done, everybody. Well done. Uh, may have used up a resource that I did not realize it was that powerful. <laughs> but you know what? Never regret something like that. Get destroyed. Get destroyed, scum lords. Okay, you can stop now. Because I do want many of these. Oh man, one of them survived, huh? This piece of trash survived. If we can send out... Um, in fact, let's make sure that everything is back to... Let's, let's see. No filth for the elephants. Major stupid, we want him in mech safety. No, uh, Biggie Smiles unrestricted, Little Flesh Render unrestricted, the squirrel can go whatever he pleases, I don't care. Uh, the elephants, no filth. And the work puppy, I didn't even realize we had a, a new work puppy. All right. That was way deadlier than I anticipated. Did any of them survive? Oh, a Gorehog survived. It's probably about to. We'll try to capture it. Oh, yeah, yeah. We need to get a containment spot right there. And uh, and this guy is just going to drop dead by incredible action of effing Damas. Oh, he was wielding the thing. What was he wielding? One of these, right? I really don't want him to have one of those. I would rather have him... I, I am really down on charge lances these days. I'm like, they shoot too slow. They are just kind of a bummer. I'm going to give it to him because I, I have no idea what to do otherwise, but there you go. Uh, undrafted you. Blargo, how about you go out there and finish off this Gorehawk? That was quite the bombardment. I really didn't think he was that incredibly insane. That was brutal. We destroyed one of our detectors, unfortunately. Uh, but hey, I'm glad the threat is over. Is Blargo on the way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, they do attack the freaking elephants. Uh, Tusmaster, who are you assigned to? Banana. Where is Banana? 
Oh, I see. It's uh, basically a free Roman elephant right now. It's okay. Blarry will get take care of this. That gore hawk is about to die. We have a masterwork heavy SMG. Is it better than a regular old assault rifle? Okay, you did. Well, that was upsetting. I didn't realize the incredible power I was unleashing. Did not need to use it, at least not use the doomsday device. But I am glad that the threat is neutralized because that was uh, an intense number. <laughs> 88 of those people. Let's uh, make sure that this is not held open anymore. Never have your base open to attack. Especially when there are... There's the possibility of invisible monsters going in. Is this guy going to ever be captured? Is anybody else? No, nobody is. Uh, okay, he has been captured. Nobody is, whatchamacallit, mm, drafted. Oh, beautiful beacon. Excellent. Medical treatment needed. Heap of flesh. What's wrong with him? He's just, he's just a whiner. Making a repair needed? Why? A crack on the left leg? All right. What are you doing, Blargo? What are you up to? <laughs> Treating this poor squirrel. What? what? What is going on with the squirrel? Lung rot. <laughs> That's just dumb. All right. Go out there, Blargo, and repair. Huh? Oh, I never assigned the people. Unrestricted on everybody. There you go. Where is Blargo? No wonder nobody was doing anything because they're not allowed there. Repair. There you go. So, low food. Excuse me. Ninety-nine percent grown, eighty-two percent grown. Looking at the mushrooms, the mushrooms are—I mean, uh, they're pretty far from being harvested, but I think they'll be fine. I mean, it's, it tells me low food, but it's a lot of bars of food. It's just that we have so many people. We have so many people in the colony. They go through so much freaking food; is uh, out of control. Okay, that's being repaired. Tatter apparel. Ritual opportunity soon. In two days, we get the depraved neural link. All right. Great stuff. It's fine. We don't really need to worry about it. This fire. Don't worry about the fire. It's not a big deal. The shard, though. I would like to have this shard. Was the disgusting creature captured? No. Must have died on the way. It was really close to death. Oh, look, free turkey. Mm, it was very close to death. Maybe, I guess, it, it died on the way there. Are you it? That's too bad. That would have been another, another source of darkness. Finally moved the harvester. It was just sitting over here like an idiot, doing absolutely nothing when this filth could have been harvested all this time. All right. So now... Keep recovering from the plague. Uh, are you... You shouldn't be on work. You should be on either recharge or escort. Uh, just go recharge, you fool! Um, I don't think there's any like mechanical thing that I want to get done. It's all a matter... How many components do we have? 27. It's all a matter of waiting for that plague to happen, waiting for the research to happen, for all the plans that we want to do. Cold shot, what is your problem? You just have your lung rot. Hopefully it will it will stop. It's really like when it's minor, barely does any any uh, problems. Vagabonds need alms. A group of poor travelers, including some children, are approaching looking for help. The travelers are begging for 39 medicine. I don't think so. They need the medicine to help their friends and nearby settlement. You give items to the travelers by settling, selecting a colony and right clicking on Ilia. The travelers will move on after one day. These travelers are not part of any faction. Not part of any faction? Hmm. Are you the travelers? There are many children with you. 
I mean, you may call them travelers. I see them as itinerant food. <laughs> they are naked. Some of them are pork men. They are extra tasty. Just when we thought that the food was running low, it just presents itself right in front of us. It, people do have a bit of a problem with murdering children, but <laughs> you just shoot carefully. That's all you need to do. And they will flee. They will escape. Might as well rebuild this. Why not? Have this... Oh, wait, wait. Let's not rebuild that because that will trap T-Rose in there. What you should do, not do is maybe uh, do not ex consider this a home area. That way T-Rose is not wasting her time repairing those walls. How silly. Okay, so these guys will move on in only one day. So we do need to act quickly to collect all this food. So, Meg, what is your deal? You're just hungry? You're just a hungry girl and just... And also, you're extremely worried about aging, much like uh, those dang old females in the, in, back in old Earth. They really did uh, stress out about aging. But what is... You're 28. What are you worried about? <laughs> just, you saw a little, uh, a little crow's eye at the corner of your eye. A little chicken leg at the corner of your eye. You're like, oh, I need, I need anti-aging right now. Anyway, let's get everybody information. Everybody, I want you guys drafted. Let's let Meg do whatever she wants. She's not even tired anymore. Go eat. Uh, bring everybody out here. We'll do a nice little simple firing squad. Carefully avoid the children because some people get queasy about it. Pretty damn silly, if you ask me. Okay, everybody, line up real nice. They're all naked refugees. None of them are armed, right? Yeah, they have clubs and knives. This is like free food. This is so great. I was stressing out about not having anything to eat. And then the refugees come around. This is awesome. This is U.S. Border Patrol really should take some some tips from this playthrough. It's like, don't worry about illegal immigrants. Just eat them. Just cook them up and feast upon their flesh. <laughs> Shoot to kill. But carefully, though. <laughs> we, don't want, we don't want to murder the children. Actually, how about no firing at will? Let's Let's... Shoot carefully. Shoot him. And then combo. And then you're going to shoot Maker. Then you're going to shoot Ilya. Then Boykop. Then Raxoctro. And then Roly. The children, I mean, there's going to be some crossfire. There may catch some strays. But don't worry about it. It'll just build character. Okay, everybody, just just hang back. How about how about we make them blind, and that way they don't even see what's coming. It's just a, a kindness. This is a kindness. Hike, hang back. You don't need to club the the head off anybody. There you go. Well done. Everybody's blind now. Great shot. You all have your orders. You all have your orders. The beggars are fleeing. <laughs> Where is Blargo going? I don't know. Uh, where are you going to, though? Because what? Are you going to go through this door? Pretty sure you cannot open that, buddy. Pretty sure only I have the key for that door. Oops. The child got caught in the crossfire. It's okay. All right. Only a few. Do not fire at will. It's over. All right. <laughs> Let the children do as they will. You just shot down the child for no reason, Blargo. He just couldn't help himself. He couldn't help himself. All right, it's all good. Uh, I can actually maybe just tell Blargo to go over here and we can uh, hold it open. And they then they won't wreck the, the door. Maybe that will work out. 
and I don't want them to start shooting. When you undraft them, they'll probably start shooting uh, whoever's left. Poor Biggie Smiles, he was just so hungry. Just eat that child. Eat the child, consume the child. Barrio, you don't... Come on, you can do it now. Can you do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Open the door for this child. <laughs> all, the kids, all the kids drop dead. It's all right. We're going to... To rescue her. And she'll be all right. We'll just teach her in the Blargo ways. Death in five hours? That's not much. She'll be just fine. How about you rescue Rhino? Capture Rhino? Okay, everybody. You can be undrafted now. Everybody back to business. Orders. Uh, allow. All that stuff. There you go. Ah, So great to get all this free meat. It is fantastic. Everybody doesn't... They don't enjoy murdering the underage, but it's okay. They'll get over it. Especially this with this bit of altruism right here. Capturing this little child. A new visitor. From Mowgul. I think that is... Uh, yeah, that is a faction that we care about. So we don't betray them for nothing. <laughs> anyway. Just... Uh, oh, I destroyed my door. Let's build a copy. There you are. Where is Blargo? Well done, Blargo. Death in two hours, huh? Do do anything you can to save this poor child. Tend to to Rhino. Where are you going? To going to grab the freaking herbal medicine because you are a stickler for the rules. Okay, there you are. Oh, he's carrying some medicine. Save him, save him. We can. S this is a symbolic gesture. He's going to clear his conscience of all sins. Great job. Look at that. Look at that. Treating the child. Saving the child. Well done. We don't need to perform any operations on this bastard. Actually, we can, in fact, give him a blood transfusion. That is how amazing of altruist people that we are. Being a kid, it comes completely worthless. But, you know, we can shape him in our own image. Let us first convert, absolutely, and we'll see what happens after that. And that brings me to something I've wanted to do. You know, it needs to be done in preparation for the giant pile of progeny that we're, we want to bring into the colony, and that is to create a nursery. There isn't a whole lot of space. This is all for the gene research on all gene banks and all that stuff. Maybe over here, we could dig this out and create a nursery over there. It's a little far from from our uh, pantry, which makes it fairly annoying. Maybe over here? It's not that much closer, but it's not too bad. Basically, you want... Man, it's so efficient. The, the meat harvesting operation is so efficient. They are already all butchered. Damn, brother. They were hungry people. Just hungry people over here. Hungry for some quality meats. Some cold cuts. Cold hearted cuts. Very nice. Very nice. We'll build a nursery and education room. Probably back here. That seems like a decent spot. We'll have some cradles and like playrooms and you know and then uh, the the classroom as well all together. Okay, so I think it's a good idea to just start doing that. Let us mine out. Actually, let's use a regular wall, right? Let's deconstruct or rather we'll create just a door. Uh, put it right there. And we'll mine this out. It doesn't need to be big. It's nice to make it big because it looks it looks good. Something like that. And then create the door right there instead of up there. No, what are you doing? Cancel. 
there. That seems like a reasonable area for a classroom slash nursery. We'll put all the cradles right here. They'll keep all the kill, uh, children together. We'll put a table for them to be fed. Maybe even have... Uh, does baby food go bad? I forget. But if it doesn't, we can even have a shelf with baby food over there. And that way it's all very nicely centralized. Either way, it's really not that big a deal to have the food kind of, you know, have them walk over there. All right. All right. Good stuff. So I still want to do that mission. Let's take stock of what people are doing. Get rid of that awful... What are you doing? You're just researching the obelisk. By the way, uh, let's continue making Crack Like Black Bay into, into an abomination. Hike is just studying the twisted obelisk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all that she's doing, right? Right, that's suppressing. I think that that's a thing that is easily... Yeah, there you go. Food pinch on hike? What? Come on, man. Come on, man. Uh, she's a night owl, but she has the schedule. It's just, you know, happens to be during the day right now. You absolute pussy! Let's see. Why are you crackling back? Maybe you'll finally get a mutation. Go. You'll get yourself a mutation that gets rid of this uh, brain tumor you got. You have... Uh, Mangle scar inside your brain makes your makes you half stupid. So hopefully we can make that get reversed. Dig this out. Do we want to smooth the walls? We'll smooth these walls and then we'll create a nice wall. So let's expand it by one, and we'll build the walls under there. Uh, I was in the middle of taking stock of what everybody's like. Really need all this these gunshots to to heal before we uh, go ahead and send people out and the goal you know i feel like i learned some valuable lessons the last time that we did a terrible disaster in one of those complexes i'm going to carry a pile of weapons and i'm just going to raise it i'm going to stand outside and shoot at it until the walls are destroyed Okay, let's see what happens. Flesh mass lung, flesh mass tentacle, prosthetic arm. Nothing happened. Well, internet without crack. His arm thing. If you move, oh. The feeling passed. Oh, he failed to mutate. Ah. Well, that is disappointing. It's all right. There will be another chance to make him into an eldritch monstrosity soon enough. All right, uh, that's all being dug out. All right, so what we want to do is wait until morning. Everybody needs to be well rested. Man, Erica Dawson is doing great now. Oh, because of the catharsis. Uh, because she doesn't have many reasons to be happy. It seems like the plague is finally over. Okay, Blargo. High case uh, during break. Ah, break soul still is recovering. Crack like Blackbeard will never recover. He's too stupid. Um, Meg will not be sent. Jesse Fassman is the old geezer that is completely worthless. Like Katrina can definitely be sent. Cold shot should be sent. It's eight people. It takes a lot to get it done. Nick Fitzgerald will go. We'll equip them properly. We'll, they'll all be nicely equipped. But mostly Banana needs to recover. There's no way I'm sending this guy out with 50% manipulation. He just needs some freaking bed rest. What is he even up to? Oh, of course! <laughs> He's in here. So that is one thing we definitely need to wait for. Banana is like our combat MVP. So he should definitely be fully rested. Ready to, ready to do the boogie not be a useless lump anyway we're going to build this nursery for our new saved child <laughs> he's got a destroyed left foot unfortunately but it's all right we're gonna build him a pros 
prosthesis and everything. Do we even may, we may even have one? Install denture. Nah, we don't have one. Let's not do peglet. Let's go into the this one of these and create. Please create. Probably even there. No. Make prosthetic leg. It will eventually be built. Research is almost there. Getting the high mech deck is going to be able uh, enable us to do such great things. Maybe, hopefully. Or at least do a few more things. But what I'm truly interested in is uh, all that fertility processes. They're going to be amazing. Have a, all the children running around being trained to be su super soldiers. It's going to be great. But in the next episode... We're going to go out into that stupid complex and we're going to destroy the entirety of it. Mark my words.